kids, it's me, Mr. Castiglione, and I'm here with, he's pretty much the king of our school. It's Mr. Roten, our principal. Now, he was gracious enough to grant us a little bit of time, and he's going to show us a really cool optical illusion. So, get ready. Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a very easy, but also very technical, geometric pattern which uh, also looks like an optical illusion. And all you need for this is a pencil and a ruler. All right, first take your sketchbook and you are going to take your ruler. And what you're gonna do is you're just going to draw a line. And our line is going to be, we'll start at the end of the ruler and we'll go to eight inches. So I'm just going to draw a line to eight inches. And then I'm going to mark off every half inch. I'm just going to put just a little mark at every half inch. Make your marks as small as you can, but big enough to see. Now, half of eight is four, so I'm just going to make this line a little bit longer to show me where I'm going to draw my y-axis. And again, I will line up the four so that I make sure I get eight inches. Draw my line. And I'm going to do again what I did earlier. I'm going to just every half inch make a small mark. So then it looks like I have a T. Now, since this is a technical drawing, you need to be very careful of how you draw your lines. What I'm going to do is I have all of these marks and I am going to start at the very top of my cross or my T. And I'm going to draw a line from that mark to my first mark that I made on the X axis here or my horizontal line. So I'll put my pencil here and I will draw a line to that mark like so. Now for every other mark I'm just going to drop down to my next mark here and I'm going to draw a line crossing this line over here to my second mark uh, on my x-axis. And again, drop down one, move over. And a little trick that I can show you is if you put your pencil on the mark and use it to guide your ruler, I can move my ruler right on over. Just like so, and you can start to see how the one side is starting to come together. All right, now once I start on my other side, again, I'm gonna to go to my top mark, which is up here, and we're gonna do this side. So my top mark will go to my first mark here, and then so on and so forth, just like we did on our first side. So I'll go here. It's real important to make sure you hold your ruler nice and tight so that it doesn't slip out from under you while you're drawing your lines. And then now our top half is done. I'll go ahead and complete the bottom half. Again, you start at the very top. Go to your mark closest to your center. And be very careful with your placement. Try to make sure that your lines intersect at the right point. One side left. A 
from there is the drawing of your geometric optical illusion. And now all you need to do is you go in and you will color in checkerboard. You could do this with a marker, do it with your pencil, pen. Sometimes with the bigger squares it works better with a marker. The only problem with a marker or a pen is if you make a mistake. Good luck fixing it. So then I'll just color in every other square, work my way down one side. Skip one. Alright, now on your next row, we're going to again checkerboard. So I want to color in this one here. As you're going through, a little trick you can do is just kind of, you can put a little mark at every other one too, just so you know which ones to color in. Be sure that you're skipping one and you don't have any squares touching. And then those will be the ones that I will go back in and color with either my marker or my pencil. Sure that you're not coloring in any blocks of touch. You want to keep that checkerboard pattern to really make the optical illusion stand out. See, that's one side done. Now the difference between this one that I did earlier, or just did, and the one that I did earlier, is that my increments are much shorter. I did this one in quarter inch increments and this one I did in half inch increments. So the smaller increments that you make it, obviously uh, the more lines and the more blocks you're gonna have to color, and it also makes your pattern a lot tighter and a lot smaller. You can also use graph paper, which is segmented perfectly for you so that you don't need to measure out anything, and I could go in and just draw an axis, And then I can go ahead and I have my points already laid out. So I can start here and draw to here and here and here. So your line just kind of folds on out like we did in my previous example and the one we just did together. So I hope you guys have a good time with it. Show me what you've done. I'm sure your creations will be much better than what I've given you here. But I know you're going to do a great job. I look forward to seeing it.